my nice bone broth here that I'm enjoying. It freaking snowed last night or yesterday and there's snow on the ground right now and it's so cozy and I just want to cuddle up and not work out today. But that's not going to slide this week. So we are going to our workout even though it's so cozy and it's so uncalled for because it's literally the end of February, almost March. Like why is it snowing? Who knows? But not going to lie, it is pretty cozy and it's like pretty rainy right now. It's raining really hard and I was hearing it in the morning like hit a roof and it sounded so nice and I just wanted to sleep and stay in bed but anyways I kind of woke up a little bit later today I'm supposed to be up at 5 30 but I woke up at like 5 45 because I just snoozed my alarm that one last time because I was just listening to the rain and it was so nice anyways I'm gonna go upstairs now get dressed in my workout set how cute are these pajamas by the way I'm obsessed. My sister got them for me, Madison, from Walmart, she said, which is so surprising because they're so nice, such a soft material. I'm very picky about my pajamas. You could easily sleep in these because the material is like not too thick, so it doesn't get too hot. And they're just so cute. I love them and I do really love the color. She got them for me in two different colors. So I also have like a floral print I'll show you guys probably sometime this week. But let's go get ready for a workout. I have a power core class today at Oxygen Yoga and Fitness. So that is a sleigh. Let's go get ready before I procrastinate more. So I just got home from my workout class and Good Protein gifted me a few proteins. So I just wanted to show you guys and I'm going to make my protein shake with it this morning with probably this banana one because it looks so good. But they have plant-based protein powder. The ingredients are actually really impressive and mostly everything is organic. Actually, everything is organic, which is amazing. You guys know I prioritize that. And they actually have so many superfoods mixed in to their protein powder. So you can see strawberry, cranberry, spirulina, broccoli, spinach, like there's vegetables in the protein powder mixed in so it's like a superfood plus a protein powder for each scoop it has 21 grams of protein which is really good for plant-based protein but i'm gonna try the banana they sent me mocha salted caramel and banana and this banana cream looks so good so we're gonna try her and yeah thank you so much to good protein this isn't sponsored but i have a feeling i'm gonna really really like it i already like the ingredients and everything so let's try it out <laughs> give her a taste test wow this literally tastes like a banana milkshake i'm not even kidding you mm, 10 out of 10 this is so yummy so let's talk friendships for a bit here because i have never really openly opened up about this before so i still remember scrolling instagram a couple months ago and i just like had this thought and i'm like a lot of my friendships they feel fake they feel one-sided i'm the only one giving the effort here but i didn't know what to do with that i would constantly try to maintain a relationship with some people be there when they needed me but like that was never really reciprocated the thing is is i felt like i have done so much growing and through this process i've lost a lot of friends in my life that has led me to feel a lot of guilt and shame and lower my self-esteem a bit because i'm like is there something wrong with me why is this happening the thing is is sometimes friendships just run their course and it's natural for you guys to grow apart but sometimes it could be just like super super hard to deal with when you don't have closure and like that's always been an issue in my life it's like i don't know when to walk away and i feel super guilty doing that and i feel guilty not doing it and that's when i realized i can really really be 
benefit from talking to somebody outside of my situation. An unbiased therapist who can help me navigate my feelings and just figure out the healthiest path for me to move forward. If you guys have ever struggled with friendship breakup, a real breakup, or just feel confused about where you stand with somebody like I have in the past, I highly recommend checking out BetterHelp. They're actually sponsoring today's video. They match you with a licensed therapist who can provide you with support and guidance tailored to your unique situation. There's no commuting, there's no waiting rooms, just literally the help you need on your own time. You guys can visit betterhelp.com slash Michaela to get your first month of online therapy 10% off. Investing in your mental health is so important for now and also for the future. You too deserve to have caring and reciprocated friendships in your life. So anyways, visit my link and I love you guys. You guys, in my workout class, I couldn't even do all the movements because <clears throat> there's something wrong with like my pelvic bone or my hips maybe, I don't really know. But like over here, like inside my thigh here and also on this side, but it's worse, worse on my left. I've always noticed that doing certain exercises, it like pops and it kind of just a really uncomfortable feeling. But today, you guys, we were doing like, I'm gonna show you on this side, but we were doing like this with the weight and I can't even do it on this side because it kept popping and I was like, oh my gosh, like it hurts so bad. It's so uncomfortable. So I feel like I should maybe go to the doctor or something so I can get like a referral, try to go somewhere. I don't know what would do that, like a chiropractor. I feel like a chiro is for your back. I don't know. But somewhere where I can go, like physiotherapy, that they can help me realign my hips or something or my pelvic bone. I don't even know. When I walk, I'm not in pain. I'm totally fine. It's just like doing certain movements like this. Like if I were to go all the way, it just like pops and it's so uncomfortable. But anyways, let me know if you guys know anything about this, what it could be in the comments and if you ever experienced the same thing. On a brighter note, these are my favorite workout sets literally ever. This is the TNA um, Aritzia Butterline. That is my favorite material. If you go on their website and filter by material and click the butter, this is my favorite. And luckily, I actually got these two from the Aritzia Warehouse sale, so I got them for super cheap. And I really, really want to buy more workout sets from them because they're my favorite. But they're all sold out. Like their whole butter line, I swear, is basically sold out in every single single color that I would want and so I don't know when they're ever going to come back in stock but they just really don't have anything in store online for this material which sucks but if you guys ever could get your hands on some Aritzia butter material do it because it's literally my favorite workout clothes ever it's so comfortable to work out and so breathable <sighs> but anyways that is a little just and tea of the day I feel like I've been like really repetitive with my workout sets which is fine but it's like really nice to spice up your workout sets and like get new ones so hopefully they get new ones soon because they're just my fave especially in the infrared heat i only like certain materials and i will only wear this so anyways okay i'm gonna go shower and get ready for the day so i just showered and i'm ready to leave but i wanted to show you my little outfit so you guys saw me wear the set in the last video but top and pants are from garage and i'm obsessed i've been wearing these like every single day and i love them so much it's just such a comfy little set and then i have this jacket from princess polly on i just have my black purse on and then i'm just wearing this hat that i got from aritzia i love myself a good hat when my hair is just not cooperating moments so this is my little outfit it's a really weird weather today it's like raining but it's also kind of warm so i feel like this is a good medium in between not being too hot and also when i'm grocery shopping i don't like to be too bundled up because i get super hot obviously in the store so this is a good layering situation where i just have my jacket on underneath and i can still breathe you know anyways just wanted to show you guys my outfit before i leave the house so i'll talk to you guys in the car we're just going for my little weekly grocery run. Just got to the grocery store. I don't know if you guys can hear, but it is pouring rain. But anyways, before I left the house, I actually pre-wrote my grocery list so I don't have to do it right now, which is nice. I'm planning on doing taco bowls this week and then white chicken chili. And I'm pretty sure those two dinners are going to last. I'm going to make them really big so we can have leftovers. If you guys want to cut down your cooking time, like what I realized is that I spent so much time cooking and cleaning every single day. And then I realized if I just make the portions bigger and every single time I make a meal if I make it to feed like a family then we can have leftovers for the next day or possibly two days which is so much nicer than having to like make a meal from scratch every single day so that's like a little life hack that I've learned along the way of living 
alone with Joel. It's not necessarily meal prepping, but it's more so just making your meals big so that you set yourself up with leftovers so that you're not cooking every single day. And it has saved me so much time. I was just thinking of this the other day and I was like, wow, cooking and cleaning take a big portion of my day. If I some reason skip breakfast one day, I realize I have like an hour extra in my day. Like the day feels so much longer. Just like making breakfast, depends what I make, can take like 15 minutes, maybe half an hour. And then eating it and then the cleanup time, like that is a full hour basically. That's why I don't really have lunch often because I always fill up on a big, big breakfast and then I'm not really hungry for lunch. But I'll always have like a midday snack that requires no dishes because you guys, I don't know if you can relate. If you live on your own, you probably can. But the time and the effort that goes into cooking and making meals for yourself takes honestly like so long. Like that's why I empathize with stay at home moms who have to take care of the kids or stay at home dads who have to cook, who have to clean, who have to do everything. That is a full time job in itself. Like I could see how that is literally a 24 hour around the clock job. People don't get enough credit for that. And I was thinking if I had like money to blow, if I was just like super, super rich, I would totally get a private chef. Like that's something that I feel like is totally worth the investment. And I totally understand why celebrities have private chefs because the time and the amount of energy and just like the dishes it takes to cook, like you feel like you're constantly just like making the kitchen a mess and then cleaning it and like repeat, especially for people who work like a nine to five, who don't work from home. It's like you have to do, a, I feel like a lot of meal prepping for that or just like easy dinners in general. So that's why I totally empathize and understand that it's impossible if you just don't have the time to eat healthy all the time because it takes so much effort. You could pop in a microwave dinner and have it ready in a minute with no dishes versus making an actual like dinner from scratch, a healthy dinner. Obviously that's gonna take like hours in comparison to like minutes. Anyways, that was my little rant on that. One thing I have to do today and that I'm setting my mind to doing is booking my car appointment because my car's needed an oil change for like three weeks now or even longer. I'm just looking at my next service day. Yep, it's been like two months overdue, like you're done. When it comes to girly things, like that is just like not at the top of my head. I absolutely hate car problems. I hate having to maintain my car. Out of sight, out of mind for me, you know what I mean? When you have those girly things where you just like out of sight, out of mind, you know? I just need to get it done. I just need to book it. Like why have I been procrastinating it? I don't know. It's just because I just hate it. I literally hate that. And that's the thing with productivity too, is like I am a procrastinator in my nature. Like I am a genetic procrastinator. I was just watching this TikTok the other day and I think I actually reposted it on my account but the girl was basically saying if you need to do something do it in this moment now. If you could do it right now do it instead of putting it off. It's like oh I need to book my car appointment. Why did I not just book it in that moment that I needed to book it in? Why did I say oh I'll do it later? Because it's just gonna get pushed and pushed and pushed. Getting things done right away without procrastinating them is just so much better and I need to focus on doing that more often because you just feel so much more productive. You feel like there's not this huge weight on your shoulders constantly of oh my god I need to do this I have to do that it's like just do it in the moment that it needs to be done and then you're not going to have this huge list of stuff that you need to do because you're just getting it done as they come in you know and I am just I, I, I need to start doing that because I'm horrible at that where I'll just put something off for the longest time and then I'll just be working under pressure like I'll just do it because there's so much pressure and that'll force me to do it but it's like no if I can do things in advance like that saves me so much stress and so much energy but that's something in 2024 that I definitely want to do again and make it a habit to just okay I need to book this appointment I'm gonna do it literally right now five of the time and if not whenever I have the next open slot of time I'm gonna get it done right then and there anyways okay let's go grocery shopping even though I just feel like cuddling up in my bed today because the weather is just oh, I can't wait for summer okay let's go
grocery haul quickly here. So I got some Greenfield no antibiotic bacon. I got two. We love this bacon. It's so good. And then I just had to stock up on some garlic. Got some lettuce for the taco bowls that I'm going to make tonight. Got some organic popcorn. Got some sparkling water. And I got this huge thing of lemon juice because I've been running out so fast because I use it like every day in my sparkling water and I'm obsessed. So I got a big, big one. So hopefully that'll last me a lot longer. Grass-fed ground beef, some avocados, some limes, some carrots, some raspberries. I love to have like a berry in the fridge. I got some raspberry lemonade kombucha. That's my favorite flavor. Got some salsa, some cream, some sour cream, some hummus, chicken broth. I got two things of chicken thighs for the soup that I'm going to make sometime this week or next week. Then got some beans for the soup as well, some corn. And then I got just a tomato in here. These chips are so freaking good. The only thing that I don't approve on them is that they have sunflower oil in them, which is not the greatest. But for a little snack and a treat, these are really good for like the weekend. They're so good. They're like healthy Doritos. And then I just got two of these um, organic corn chips for the taco salad and also to have with the white chicken chili soup. So that is a little haul. I'm just going to organize the fridge and put this all away. Okay guys, about to assemble the taco bowls. We got the tomato, we got the lettuce, we got the chips, we got the corn and beans that's left over from last week. So it's perfect use for this. Sour cream, salsa, and the meat. I'm gonna put it all together and then I'll show you guys. Here she is. Oh, oh my gosh, doesn't look the prettiest, I guess, but once she's mixed together, it's gonna taste so good. That's the final little taco bowl. Oh my god. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm literally flopping everything. Um. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys, I know I've said this before, but let me tell you again, kombucha in a wine glass with dinner is just superior i don't really drink wine or alcohol for that matter often at all but this makes me feel like i'm having a nice drink at the end of the day and having it in a wine glass just makes it that much better got my raspberry lemonade flavor i bought today put a few frozen strawberries in the glass as well and you have a little kombucha cocktail right here so good and it's super good for your gut because it's like fermented and everything but anyways cheers to the taco bowls i'm gonna go enjoy with joel mm. it just hits the spot every time cheers <laughs> So I woke up a little bit later today. It's about 7.45 right now. I'm just about to leave the house for my workout. I'm just going to the gym today. But I just wanted to give you guys a little OOT for the gym. So I have these pink leggings on that are the butter line from Maritzia. And then I just have this workout. It's like an Align Lululemon dupe. I forget the brand. And then I just got this long sleeve cover up thing from White Fox. That is the little gym outfit of the day. I really don't feel like going to the gym today, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna get it done because half the time I don't feel like going so if I didn't go every time I didn't feel like going I would never work out so I'm gonna make an effort of going regardless and getting my movement in for the day because I know I feel a million times better after I do it and I really do thank myself and I appreciate that I went so it's just a matter of actually going 
and just kind of going through the motions and then eventually you'll be done and you'll be really thankful that you did it. So anyways, let's get going before I procrastinate more and let's go work out. This is your motivation to work out even if you don't feel like it. Unless you're sick or down bad, get some movement in even if it's just a walk. gem i just made this protein smoothie and i used the good protein mocha flavor and it's so freaking good i just put a banana in here with coconut milk and water and the protein powder and collagen mm. anyway so today i'm just gonna shower and then madison coming because we're going to go shopping at costco together and then i also just have a few random errands i want to stop at the mall and then i also need to stop at shoppers so we're just going to be like running around town today together doing a couple errands so that's the plan for the beginning of the day so i recently asked you guys on my youtube and my community tab if you didn't see it i asked you guys if you prefer longer videos once a week or shorter videos twice a week and i was actually pretty shocked to see the results because on my long videos i get really good feedback and you guys like them in the comment section but on my community tab 68 percent of you guys voted shorter vlogs twice a week and 32 percent of you guys voted longer vlogs once a week so the vast majority voted shorter vlogs twice a week i think i might start doing that as kind of an experiment to see like what happens if it helps me grow a little bit just because i've been looking for ways where i can really like amp things up and grow my channel because i feel like i've just been stagnant for a while and i went through a big growth spurt within the past couple of months but now i'm kind of just like stagnant again what i've learned is like growing on youtube growing on any social media platform if you just do the same things over and over and over from my experience like i don't see huge growth i need to like switch things up and so i think i'm going to start posting on wednesdays and sundays and i'm going to try to make the videos as long as possible but we'll see how that all works out and i'll keep you guys updated i mean i may not like it and i'll switch back to just doing one long video per week but i feel like two is kind of the best of both worlds so you're still getting the same amount of content from me it's just kind of spread out so instead of just watching a 50 minute vlog you can watch just two vlogs back to back you know basically at the end of the day it really is the same thing but hopefully posting twice a week i could get on youtube's good side and their algorithm again and that'll help with my engagement and new people finding my channel we'll see i'm always down to try new things to just experiment especially when i'm not on the good side of youtube's algorithm because i go through phases where it's like i'm doing good and then it's like back to normal and then it's just up and down it's been like this for the past like every single year i've been doing youtube but anyway so that's like the consensus that's the verdict i kind of came to so expect two videos a week i'll make them as long as possible but we'll see how long that lasts if i like it who knows what's gonna happen but that's the tea and i'm really happy i posted that poll on my community tab i feel like i'm gonna do more polls on there so watch out for my little posts on there because i feel like it's such a good way to engage with you guys and just ask you questions that i want answers to at the end of the day you guys are my community and i want to engage with you guys and talk with you guys as much as possible and i feel like yeah i've never really thought of posting on there but i'm really glad i did so that's the tea little outfit of the day i'm wearing this leather jacket from princess polly it's linked in my how to be motivated as a lazy girl video and then this crew neck is from Earthsia. then these pants are the ones that i got from garage obsessed and then i'm just wearing this purse that is thrifted and then these sunnies from princess polly linked in the same video but just like a very comfortable but put together outfit and i just put my hair up in a bun because it is like greasy and i don't know what to do with it so that's the fit i also love wearing like a nice sweatsuit with my hair up just so it's like out of the way and i feel like i can do things you know <laughs> i'm gonna be leaving soon i'm just waiting for madison and then gonna be heading out of the house
Costco core. Costco cool. They sucked me in, guys. I got my card today. She got her executive membership. I put her on my fam plan. Oh, yeah. And they sucked me into getting a Costco credit card because every time I come here, I need to use my debit. And it's getting kind of annoying because I never use my debit. I always use credit cards because it's good to build that credit. And so I got my Costco credit card now. I got yeah. like a, they sent me a temporary one. The official one's being mailed in the mail. But I feel like it's financially a good move to get another credit card to shop at Costco because they don't accept Visa here. So I need to use my debit all the time. And my debit card also has a limit on it, so it gets annoying. But anyways, that's the tea. Costco's chaotic as always. Just got back from Costco, you guys, and this is so unexpected, but I wanted to like check the aisles because I was like, I don't really know what I need. Like I just rather go through the aisles and then I can like pick what I need and want, whatever. And so I never go in like the appliance aisle because like what's the point? But like we just started there and I'm so happy we did. Everything is meant to be because Joel and I have like a blender, a big one, and it's like really annoying to take out. You guys uh, seen the blender earlier this week, but it's really annoying to take out that big blender for just like one protein shake or one smoothie that's like for personal use like that blender is good if you're making something bigger or blending up, up a soup or something but i feel like the size goes to waste when i'm just making like a little smoothie there's like no point of like dirtying that because it's also like a pain in the butt to clean and i always procrastinate cleaning it but i stumbled upon this blender at costco i've never even heard of the brand but i feel like i've seen it before and look how aesthetic it is like it's gonna look so good for my videos and just like in general but it has a really good power i was reading up on it it's so cute and it comes with two drink carrying cups as you can see so these go directly on the blade it's like a neutral bullet so it goes directly on the blade and then you could put on the drinking caps so you could drink your smoothie right out of these cups and you don't need to even need a dirty a glass or anything which is so nice and now i just feel like it'll be so much more convenient to make smoothies and stuff and protein shakes after the gym just because it's like a one and go and it's super easy to clean so i'm really happy about that also the original price at costco was 200 dollars and I had to get it because it was on sale for $100, $99.97. And I'm like, okay, I can't not get this. And Costco also has super good returns. So if I use it and don't like it, they'll definitely take it back, but I'm sure I'll love it. I was looking at the prices online and if you bought it like on their website, it's so much more expensive. So I got a steal at Costco. I'm surprised they're not all gone, but I'm so happy I got my hands on it. But anyways, so I did get a couple other things. I'll give you guys a little Costco haul other than that right now. But I'm happy. We were there for like two hours because it took an hour for us to... When I was signing up for my credit card and then they both got memberships, like I said. But I also got a new credit card today, so that's a slay. Um, but yeah, anyways, so let me show you guys a little haul. So I just got some gluten-free bread. This is nice just to keep in the freezer in case I ever need a piece of bread, like if we have no dinner or something. I don't really have this often, but just for that time when it's like an emergency. And then I got Got some more organic coffee, got some tuna, really good protein, got some smart sweets, some eggs, some almonds for my milk that I make. And then I wanted to try these hemp seeds because for three tablespoons, you guys, it's 10 grams of protein. And apparently there's lots of omega-3 in here and just like good stuff. So I'm definitely going to be adding some hemp seeds to my smoothies every morning. I just feel like it's a good addition. Also, the protein is amazing. And then I just got this pack of Celsius's. I don't really drink these often, not too into en energy drinks, but I know Joel really loves them so they'll just be good to have for whenever and if i ever want one too but that is the little haul hey guys so i'm just currently editing my vlog from this morning i've been trying to upload like a youtube short and a tiktok every single weekday as much as i can because i really just want to try to grow my short form platforms because i feel like i focus so much time and attention on my youtube for like the longest time and youtube is my bread and butter like youtube is my baby i prefer long form content over short form any day but the reality of the matter is that short form is popping with everybody else short form is really popping off and if that can help people find my youtube channel then i'm gonna take any advantage i can and like if my sh youtube short can lead somebody to click on my actual youtube video and like watch my long form videos and like that's ideal so it's like I, I even got a comment on my youtube once they found me off of my tiktok which is crazy to me because 
because I feel like I don't really take TikTok that seriously at all. Like I just post my morning vlogs on there and then like just random stuff. So like the fact that somebody found me and subscribed to my YouTube and watched my videos from TikTok just kind of shows me that I should be kind of promoting myself on other platforms. But the main goal is really to make that all funnel back into my YouTube channel because that is like what I love doing the most. That's where I started. That's where I put all my energy into and like I will never stop YouTube as far as the future goes. And I feel like I've come a really long way doing YouTube and stuff. I feel like this goes for any really social media platform but creating content it's like your revenue is directly correlated to your views to your engagement to your community and basically how many eyes are on you and so sometimes it's really hard not to like get wrapped up in that world and be so hyper focused on your analytics and how your videos are doing it's really really hard because I would notice that I would post a video in YouTube analytics literally they rank the videos on like your most recent 10 videos it ranks them and it shows you how your most recent video is performing against your other most recent 10 videos and when that number is like at the bottom like if your video is performing the worst obviously it doesn't feel good and then it makes you worry and then you go down a spiral but then it does the opposite when my video is doing like one out of ten or two out of ten like it's doing really well it makes me happy and then the other way around it makes me like sad so it's like i can't let that actually fluctuate my real life emotions and that just means that i'm too like tied to that and i feel like over the past few weeks i've done like a really good job at kind of letting that go and just putting my videos out there and whatever the heck happens happens this also ties back into really just not worrying about things that are not in your control once i put the video out there as long as i did the video to my best of my abilities and i'm proud of it and you know i didn't slack off in that video and I know it's like a good video then that is now as soon as it's posted the way that it does is completely out of my control so me sitting here and pouting that it's not doing as well as like the next video is just like not good and it's kind of toxic and I was talking to my friend Erin and she also does YouTube and she was telling me the same thing how she's addicted to checking her analytics and it affects her mood whether a video does well or not well and I feel like a lot of people in the content creation space could feel this way I feel like it's just just like this toxic mentality that I need to let go of and I've done like actually a really 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 good job at not caring recently and I've always so like business minded where I'm always like okay what's gonna do the best what's gonna make me the most money but I've really relaxed within these past couple of months and I've been like I'm just gonna post what I want to post obviously like I'm gonna have some sort of a strategy and a content plan because I still want to maximize you know my opportunities and everything and I still want my channel to grow but at the same time it's like having a balance between that and also having a balance between like not worrying about what's not in your control and I always like worry about the stupidest things like I'm worrying about taxes right now just like some stuff that I need to get done that's I'm really procrastinating mostly all about taxes at the end of the day when it comes down to it our life isn't worth worrying away I just heard this really tragic story of this girl that I know of in my hometown a couple girls passed away from a car accident and that is just like the saddest thing ever it just really puts things into perspective for me that your life and the things around you could be taken away way at any second you really need to live in the moment like as cheesy as it sounds and as hard as it can be sometimes worrying about things that are not in your control worrying about things like taxes is so stupid in the grand scheme of things because that really does not matter at all what matters is that you're living your life to the fullest that you're the happiest you can be and that is what life is all about it really does put things into perspective for you when something like tragic happens like that and so it's really made me think over the past day or so and i'm like damn i have to be just honestly just so grateful that i'm healthy i'm alive i'm living my best life and at the end of the day worrying about tech is worrying about my stupid youtube analytic it doesn't matter because at the end of the day everything happens for a reason everything is meant to be and so whatever you're worrying about in your life just know that it's all gonna be okay everything happens the way it's supposed to everything is gonna lead you to where you're supposed to be and all that matters is that you're happy also it's just so important to live your life regardless of other people's opinion that's something that i feel like a lot of people revolve their life around is what people think of them and they don't do certain things because they're scared of being judged like i said this life could be ripped away from us at any second and it's such a scary thought but it's true use that as your motivation to not care to just do whatever you want to live the life you want to live because at the end of the day we're all going to be gone one day and all that's going to be left is the memory of how you lived your life you don't want to spend your life stressing away and worrying away about things that are not real like money isn't real nothing is real at the end of the day so anyways i didn't mean to take it that deep but i've been thinking about that lately and i've just been extra grateful for everything 
everything about my life and I've just been not really caring about you know the little things that are out of my control because I used to hyper fixate on that and then it would be like mentally taxing for no reason and so yeah oh my gosh guys I look at the clock right now and it's 444 so that's a sign right there that is a sign so anyways i'm gonna continue editing this go follow my tiktok if you don't because i post like daily vlogs on there and also check out my youtube shorts i'm gonna edit talk to you guys later good morning you guys i'm currently just putting away the dishes i kind of woke up a little bit later today so i'm kind of in a rush but i have a matt pilates class today which is exciting my favorite class i'm honestly so happy that it's friday though i am so tired i can't wait to sleep in this weekend and just relax i feel like i really for some reason worked out hard this week especially like with my hip and i'm gonna go easy on my class today like if i can't do some movements because of it like i'm not going to i'm not gonna push my body too hard but i feel just like very worked out this week I feel like I need a nice break and my butt is so sore from yesterday's gym session which is a good thing but after this Pilates class this morning we're gonna rest up we're resting up for the weekend also I did stay up a bit later last night I needed to move some money around for tax purposes into my RRSP account and I li literally left it till the last minute and I saw the deadline was 10 30 EST so like three hours ahead of different time zone online and then I looked below and it said you could call to do it until midnight my time so I'm like oh my god thank god like this is my lesson life lesson to stop leaving things for the last minute like seriously it's so bad so anyways I called last then last night and I got in touch like I feel like it was all meant to be because I ended up talking to like the sweetest lady and she really was just like so financially invested in me and she was just so excited for me <laughs> it was so cute and anyways i just like talked with her for over an hour on the phone so i lost some sleep that's for sure but it was like worth the chat with her because she was so cute just with that phone call with her she taught me a lot so it was a really good phone call but anyways that being said i'm tired this morning so happy friday happy friday everybody this is your sign to keep motivated throughout the week because once friday comes it's just like so sweet it's just like yes i did that like i did that i'm running late so <laughs> i'm currently also filming my youtube short and tiktok right now so i'm gonna do that like of my morning routine and then i'm gonna i'm bone broth right now get it ready and i need to head out i'm running late so i will see you guys at my workout class just opened and washed the new blender. I'm gonna make my first smoothie in it. I'm so excited. I'm also gonna open these hemp hearts that I bought at Costco yesterday and put in like a tablespoon or two. This is so cute and useful. You can even take this on the go. I love this so much. It just creates so much less dishes as well. And it's so much easier to clean. So this blender is a slight 10 out of 10. And it was also so quiet. And just look at how cute she is. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is a blender. Like she's so aesthetic. I'm obsessed. I'm going to be using her every day now. And it's going to be so much more easy and just convenient to make smoothies. I'm so excited. Slay. Free Hut just sent me their line for the spring and I just opened it. Oh my gosh, it smells so freaking good. I love their products. They just feel like you get pampered. Definitely keep an eye out for their spring collection. I absolutely love the smell of everything and I got two scrubs. Oh my gosh. Do Daisy, Pink Hibiscus, and then the cream. So excited to use this. Mm -hmm. 